It's story time with Miss Pam. Let's look at the cover of our book. What do you see? I see some goats. How many baby goats do you see? That's right, there's three baby goats there and one big bad wolf. The title of our story or the name is The Three Little Goats and the Big Bad Wolf. And at the bottom of our cover, we find the name of the author and illustrators. This story is retold by me, Miss Pam, and the illustrations come from Zippity Doo Dah Designs and Melon Heads. As we read today's story, listen closely. When we finish, we'll try to order or sequence the events as they happened in the book. Once upon a time, there was a mother goat who had three little goats. When they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to make homes for themselves. The first little goat built his house out of straw. The second little goat built his house out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together for the rest of the day. The third little goat worked hard all day and he built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little goats lived, and he saw the house, and he smelled the goat inside. He thought the goat would make a fine meal, and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door and said, Little goat, little goat, let me in. The little goat saw the wolf through his window and said, No, 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 not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he did. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The little goat made a quick escape and ran to the next house. The wolf continued down the lane and he came to the second house made of sticks. He smelled the goats inside and his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner they would make. So he knocked on the door and said, Little goats, little goats, let me in. The little goats saw the wolf through the window and both said, No, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. The house was made of sticks. It was a little stronger. He huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed. Finally, the house came down. The wolf was greedy and he tried to catch both goats at once, but got neither. The two little goats scrambled away as fast as they could. The wolf chased them down the lane and he almost caught them, but they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. The three little goats were very frightened. They knew the wolf wanted to eat them. And that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day and he was getting very hungry chasing the goats around. And he could now smell all three of them inside. And he knew that the three little goats would make a lovely feast. The wolf growled, little goats, little goats, let me in. And the little goats said, no, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed. But he couldn't blow the house down. The wolf was very tired. He came up with a plan. He would climb up on top of the house, slide down the chimney and into the house and gobble up the little goats. But while the wolf was climbing on the roof, the little goats made up a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. As the wolf came down the chimney, he fell into the hot water. The wolf flew out of the chimney and was never seen or heard from again.
And after that, the three little goats lived happily ever after. The end.